Good evening, I'm Hannah Bueller from 7 News and we're taking you through the 716 in two minutes. A 21 year old man is dead after police say he was stabbed during a fight in Cheektowaga. Investigators say the two men started fighting in a parking lot on Harlem Road just after two Wednesday afternoon. Police say the man was found in the entrance to a building there stabbed in the neck. He died at the scene. The 27 year old man police say he was fighting with was found and taken into custody. Their names are not being released at this time. Top says it hopes to reopen the Jefferson Avenue store by the end of July. The grocery chain's president told us Wednesday they're allocating extra resources to open it as soon as possible. It would have taken up to three years to move this store, so they're remodeling the current location instead. The city of Niagara Falls has announced the first phase of summer road repairs starting next Wednesday. Crews will begin working on 20th Street between Niagara Street and Pine Avenue. Center Avenue from Highland to 13th Street and Wyoming Avenue from Lewiston Road to Lafayette Avenue. Folks who live along these roads will get text alerts from the city. The city hopes to repave 25 streets by the end of summer. Now let's check in with meteorologist Autumn Lewandowski. Well, we're going to deal with rain for the night tonight. Some even heavy, in fact, across the southern tier. And this lasts not only into the night, but into our morning drive for Thursday as well. Our temperatures are going to be cool. We're dropping into the middle 50s and for the day tomorrow we're going to have highs a bit below average we're only getting into the mid and low 60s although we are going to dry things out as well as for how much rain we're going to see or expect it could possibly be around an inch across the southern tier and that could lead to some poor drainage issue flooding in those areas or flood prone areas now going into the afternoon you're going to find this becoming much more scattered and then we're going to dry things out temperatures for our friday will be near 70 and we'll have some rain into the weekend.